Hey you witches, how you doing today? I thought it'd be fun to do a big walkthrough of my whole witch planner setup for 2022. I'll walk you through the whole thing, explain how I use it. And at the same time, we'll also take a look at just my December weeklies and um, right, we'll do that little catch up as well. And I thought it'd be fun just to walk through the whole thing. So for those of you who are new around here, my name is Taya. Welcome to the channel. We talk about all things witchcraft. Today it's witchcraft planners. And uh, yeah, for those of you who are coming in, maybe from another video, welcome back. Uh, your support is so appreciated. Thank you very, very much. And all of you, please consider subscribing. It's a great way to help us build the channel. So my 2022 witch planner setup. Um, basically, I work in a happy planner big. I have the rose gold um, covers. They're kind of like a stiff cover that goes over and I've got it on rose gold discs. Um, let's see, what else can I just show you before we open it up? I've got my Today, Voice, and Spirit are my sections. Today, Voice, and Spirit. And at the bottom here, I've got a fun little dangly because I love danglies. They just make me feel happy. So let's get started. We'll open it up right to the beginning. We'll take you through each page in this book. Um, just a fun little image I printed off onto some vellum. And at the very front here, I've got a couple of these. It's my morning, my morning routine. And this is also another morning routine that's like, you know, I put it on a little, I can move it around, right? So I, if I want to use it, I can pop it into wherever I'm at. But I just store them up here at the front. And I've got my 2021 word of the year and my 2021 goals. And I haven't written them all out for 2022 yet. Woo! But I do have my 2022 goals written out. Um, that was the last video I did. So if you're interested in goals and such, you can go back and check that one out. And then I'll be eventually writing them up all nice and fancy and hopefully coming up with a word of the year and all that fun stuff. I like to do that each year. And then we get into my first planner. So I just call it my today planner. It's my catch all planner. Kind of everything goes in here. Um, so this is from the happy planner and I use, this is actually the happy planner that I use. And what I do is I keep like all of my old, my previous months are in here and I have a little marker where my previous month goes here and then I pull the new month and add it to this planner so that it's constantly keeping up with, I keep two months at a time in here. So about halfway through the month, I'll switch it out. I'll take out December and then I'll add in February. But right now I've got December in here. And at the beginning, um, and Treva, that's, hey Treva, this is my, my catch-all planner because that is my mundane name, is Treva, my real life name, for those of you who are interested in that. And in here I have, um, the first part is this, it's like a year at a glance and it just shows you everything right every day of the year written out and what I do in here is I just keep track of things that only happen like every once in a while so like I wrote in here I reset my wards so I know that in one two three months I need to reset my wards again um, when I change the furnace filter I'll write it in here new furnace filter I'll have to go back to last year and pull the date for when I need to put in the new furnace filter every three months and things like that get put in here so that I can kind of keep up to date you know, keep track of when's the last time I did something. When's the last time I changed the oil in my car? That kind of stuff that only happens once in a while. So those at the beginning. And we'll just flip through December really quick. Now in my catch all, I don't really use the month at a, the whole month at a glance pages. If you have an idea for me after you've watched this video and you're like, oh, girlfriend, this is what you're missing. Let me know. Um, I don't really know what to put in here right now. And then we'll just quickly go through the weeklies for December. And there was lots of fun ones. I can't wait to show you Christmas week because it's beautiful. A bit of shine to this one. There's some silvery to it. And this is Christmas. How pretty is this? Can you see? And can you see all the shininess on the page? Oh, I love this. I love this like when it's packed full. That's how I like my planners to look. And I literally had nothing to do this week <laughs> other than having Christmas at the end of the week. And then a class and a, my live asked me anything. I, mean, I really didn't have a whole lot going on, but I just packed it full and I love when my planner looks like that. Uh, so that's something I'm gonna be working towards in the new year is having those nice packed planners. And then of course, here's what it usually looks like with just a little bit, some shiny gold there for you at the end of the year. 
And then we get into January. And again, I don't know what to use my monthlies for. And this is this week. And I just wanted to show you this because this is what it looks like when I'm actually using this during the week. So I have like my little tab here so I can always flip right to today. I have it all worked out and I will come back at the end and show you how I actually fill all this in. And I also have this little daily chores printable that I made myself or printout that I made myself. It's laminated so I can use like a dry, I use like a wet erase marker on it. Sorry, wet erase. And every day, did I make the beds? Did I do a load of laundry? Did I clean up some clutter? Did I get dressed? Did I walk the dog? So those are like daily trackers. And then weekly, Mondays I do bathrooms, Tuesdays I do dusting, Wednesdays I vacuum, Thursdays I do my hard floors, and Friday I do wiping. So again, did I do my weekly chore or my daily chore each day? And then I have monthly chores, like wiping down the appliances, cleaning out the fridge, organizing the pantry, and cleaning my bedroom. And again, I just check those off at one point. So I'll choose one of these to do in a week. I'll do each one of these throughout the week, and I'll do each day so I have daily, weekly, and monthly chores. Um, I don't usually show you guys that because it's not really part of the, dec the decor of it. But yeah, so that's sort of how I use this. And then I come in and each day it will tell me what I'm looking at. And we'll talk about this setup a little bit later after we get through the rest of the book. So this is what it looks like right before I plan it. And maybe we'll do a plan with me so you can actually see me like decorate it and a little understand a little bit more about how that works. And then at the end of my catch-all planner, I have this section here, which is just a, a note section, if you will. Again, another vellum printout. I have like popular recipes that my, like, my family loves, uh, where to find it, you know, what book and what page it's on, so I know where to find my recipes. I have this sheet here, I need to print a new one for online order tracking, so when I order things online, because you know sometimes you get excited, especially like Black Friday, stuff like that, and you order a whole bunch of stuff, and then you're like, did I get everything? I don't even remember, what all did I order? So I can keep track of stuff here. And then just notes, just notes in the back. And then we get to what I call my voice planner, which is really about sharing my voice, and this planner kind of belongs to Taya. <laughs> That's how you guys know me, is this Taya. And in here I track my YouTube and my guild, this planner here is, um, it is also Happy Planner Big. It comes from Squared Plans on Etsy. You can see that there, Squared Plans on Etsy. And this is her 2022 dashboard layout. So this is, it's a different front piece. Her, the current front piece looks a little different. I'll show it to you real quick. So this is what they look like now with this sort of quilted look to the front. Um but it didn't have a place to put your name. So I'm just leaving in the one from last year that says this planner belongs to Taya. I just blacked out where it said 2021. It's got your year at a glance. And then it's got these, again, one, one month per column, year at a glance kind of things. And basically in here is where I track my YouTube subscribers. So thank you to all of you subscribers. You can see I started out 2021 with 57 subscribers at the end of the first day of the month, and we ended the year with 1,063, and then I just track each month how my, what my channel growth was like, and then we get into over here, this is, of course, the beginning of the new year, so I've only got, like, three days done. Oh, I didn't put in last night, I think. Oh, I didn't put in last night because it didn't grow. Uh, so yeah, I track my YouTube subscribers there, and I'll show you December. So this is the monthly layout, and basically, all the stickies here are ideas, or just ideas of things that I might make a video on. Um, anything in black is the video I did make or I plan to make, and anything in purple is guild-related stuff, okay? So I keep that all tracked on my monthly. And then in the actual weekly layout, I don't use this section down here, just put a big sticker. And then I track um, guild statistics, I have a to-do list, I track emails that I need to send, I again track my YouTube um, weekly, and so I know this week I grew by 15 and I knew when I uploaded and how many views, when I do the next upload, how many views did the previous upload have? And then each day I track Facebook and Instagram and anything important. So I need to like important, don't forget, send out the newsletter, right? And then YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, and yeah, I just track those sort of daily about what am I posting just so I keep, try to keep a little bit consistent. And I do decorate a little bit in here. Um, yeah, just kind of started doing that and it feels nice to have another decorated section in my book. 
And then we can get into January, which again, I haven't scheduled any, we're here today. I have, um, I'll have to write down this video that I did. And then I'll have, hopefully we'll go through and do a little bit of forward planning on videos for Wednesdays and Saturdays. I upload videos and then any sort of guild sort of things that I need to keep track of. And I haven't actually decorated this week yet. So it's just super plain, but you can see I've got my voice, um, tab in here. So I can always just flip right to this page when I need it. And then at the end of here is just notes and oops, I've got a little bit of the next month already started in here. What is going on here? Hmm, entertaining. I'll have to figure that out later. And then we have got at the end of the voice section, I've got another note section. So I've got this pretty vellum. I love this one. And I have a chart that I keep. So every um, at the end of every month, I add in where the YouTube subscribers hit. So you can actually see there's like kind of slow growth. And then it got a little quick, got really quick. And then it's kind of slowing down a little bit. But you can actually track the growth. And I'll just keep that going so you can actually see the growth of the channel. And then I've got ideas in here. Just ideas for stuff that maybe I want to do a, a video on. Video topics list. Places to post about um youtube videos and then we get to my spirit planner i'm not going to show you the front page of my spirit planner because it's got my like magic name on it that i don't really want to share with everybody um but it starts out with sort of that year to glance and then we get into the dailies where it's like a year to glance it's like every single day and in this section i track my gratitude so Literally, I started at the beginning of January 2021 and we go to the end of January 2021. This every day I wrote down one thing that I am grateful for. You can see we started our new year here. So we'll go through, we'll have those all filled out by the end of the year. Yay! Kind of feels nice to have like a whole year, right? To just look at that and be like, look at all the things I was grateful for in a year. That's pretty cool. We get to December. So this one is pretty, it's pretty plain in this December monthly, but you'll see in January, it gets a lot busier. There's a lot more going on. And then I have each month, uh, the spirit set up where it's reading, researching and resonating. And I just keep track of what I'm reading, what I'm researching and what is resonating with me. So in December, I was reading the Druidry Handbook and The Witch's Path by Thorn, Mo Thorn Mooney. Uh, I was researching Druidry and I was researching Hogmanay which is the Scottish New Year. And what was resonating really with me was the three Celtic worlds, the land, sea, and sky. And that sort of setup was really kind of resonated with me in my practice. And Caridwin, who I actually encountered in my daily, um, my daily book here, my 366 Celt. And so that I was like, you know, again, I make a note so that I know when I'm like, hey, I'm looking for some inspiration. Let's go back and see what's been resonating with me. What do I want to research? What do I want to spend some more time on? I track my time at school in the RTA, Red Thread Academy. I track my guild activities for the Edmonton, which the Edmonton Traditional Witchcrafters Guild. And I track my personal practice. Um, so anytime I spend at my altar, even just making these videos, I consider part of my personal practice. Um, I have this section uh, to do. And then down here where I was listing the dark moon, the full moon and any like Sabbath, I'm changing this up for the new year. Um, I'm not exactly sure I'm going to do it because I haven't set it up yet. You'll see. And then I have a month ahead reading and then I kind of write it all out. And then I have a monthly review where I go back and I review the month as a whole from a spiritual perspective. And how did it go? What went well? What could have gone better, etc. And then each day I have a reading to do. Now, I'll be honest. Um, well, I'll show you when I get to January. Here I was tracking the new moon and the full moon. And again, I've kind of gotten away from that. I'm working more with the dark moon than the new moon. Um, but I will come back to filling in these pages in the new year here. I just need to sort of figure out what I'm doing. And then at the end here, we have a cheat sheet. So it's got all the planets, the aspects, and the different signs. So how is each like planet aspecting with different planets and what sign is it in, that kind of stuff. So I have a cheat sheet so I can read that quickly. And then here's January. So you can see here that it's quite a bit busier on my chart. So first thing I have here are my spirit allies that I'm working with for the month. This comes from the Red Thread Academy. And then I have all of these little... Um, astrology notes in here and I get the astrology notes from the 2022 astrology diary 
sorry, with the glare there, it's kind of hard to read. 2022 Astrology Diary by Patsy Bennett. Um, and it's a great little, great little planner. Uh, but again, I want to sort of amalgamate everything into one book. So I, I kind of go through the month and I write out all of the things that are happening. And then I put purple boxes around the things where I need to do something. So these days I just need to like, you know, I might want to look it up in the book and read what does this mean? But on there is the new moon or the dark moon, the full moon, um, when we change to a new astrological sign. And in here, a special day in my practice is the day that my grandfather passed. So those four days I put a purple box around because there's something more I need to do that day. It's kind of a day to do something, if you will. So that's there. <clears throat> and then here is that monthly setup. I haven't even done my month ahead reading. It's already, what, like the fifth of the month and I haven't done it yet, but we'll get to it. I'm going to add down here. I want to keep this a little bit more comprehensive with all of the dates and stuff down here. So adding in, um, right, the sun and its astrological sign, the new moon, the full moon, any death dates or special dates in my practice, Sabbaths, and um, yeah, I just kind of, th all the different things that I want to sort of, all those to-do dates, I want to keep track of on here as well. And then I'll do my month-end reading, and at the end of the month, I'll come back and do my monthly review. Now, this one here is also from Squared Plans, this planner. It's also from Squared Plans. You can get it on Etsy. Um, this is her monthly task layout because now I use it for, and here's my tab. So I go through and I use each day. Each day has a set of, has a set of tasks, I guess. What I like to use that spot for though is to do my reading from 366 Celt, A Year and a Day of Celtic Wisdom and Lore. <clears throat> now I don't necessarily do this I mean, I like, I'd love to sit down each day and do it every day as part of my, my practice, but honestly, I don't always get to it every day. So sometimes I'll go back and do two or three days at a time. Um, so yeah, it's not always quite up to date. And again, then we'll do something with the dark moon and the full moon. And then at the end we get into, uh, again, I've just got a section for some notes. So in here I've got uh, notes for the next time I talk to my mentor, um, things I wanted to add to my book of shadows. We've got, uh, this is my wheel of the year. This is my actual, um, one for 2021. I need to redo this for 2022 because I do go through and I put in the moon, the actual dates of the moons and all of that. So it does, um, it does change each year, but only, only in as far as the moon dates change each year. So I've got this done. If you're interested in this, I do teach a class. And at the end of the class, you will walk away with uh, with exactly a personalized Wheel of the Year that looks just like this. So if you're interested in that, you can go to etwguild.com, etwguild.com. And under classes, you'll find a Wheel of the Year class at the bottom that's offered in February. <clears throat> so you're welcome to come and join me for that. Then I've got some awesome readings. Um, again, these are just random tarot readings I've done that I just home them here and then just some notepaper in the back. So how do I put all of this together? <clears throat> so what I do is I go to the new month. We'll just take this out. We go to the new month or the new week, sorry. And in here, I lay down all my washi. I lay down all of my big stickers and then what I do is I go back and I go to my voice <clears throat> for the month and I copy over for the week, right? I look at, okay, this is the week we're looking at. So these are the two videos that I'm going to do and I'll add them to the video spots. And then if there's any guild stuff, I'll again, put in an appointment for them. Then I go to the spirit section to this <clears throat> monthly layout. And I look in here and I'll pull any of these astrological correspondences and I'll write them all in down along the bottom. So I know I have them. Then I go to my phone and on my phone, I keep my calendar with any date and time appointments, things that have to happen at a certain date at a certain time. I'll add those in. And what happens is then I end up with sort of a comprehensive look at everything that's going on this week. Um, whether it's things that, you know, appointments, YouTube videos, um, 
anything I need to do for my practice. Sorry, I don't know if you guys can hear her. Luna is sitting outside the door to my office. It's got like a, a French door so you can see through it. And she's looking at me with these big pooly eyes and she's like, Arr! and she's like just whining away, wanting to come in. Um, so yeah, so that's how I set up my week. And I will go and do maybe a weekly setup video. We'll do like a plan with me where I actually like plan it all out and I put down all the washi and the stickers and all that fun stuff. That's on the list for the new year here is to start doing a few of those. So uh, keep an eye out how we get from here to here. But otherwise, yeah, that is sort of how I go and I just sort of collaborate everything together on into a one week view and then sometimes um I used to and I'd like to get back to doing is a week ahead reading and I would do like a, a card reading for just this week to see what my week is going to look like so that is my 2022 planner my witch's planner for 2022 uh, if you have questions leave them in the comments down below otherwise that's our video for today and we'll catch you in the next one thanks so much you guys